Rowan Soares, too much experience, 300 games. He gets it underway while players uh, just outside the centre square want to go on with things. And the first kick of the game, Dyson gets it out of the middle for Melbourne. It comes North Melbourne's way. And uh, McRae up towards half forward. There's Yates. Contest at ground level. Umpire Soares picks out a free kick. Yates held when not in possession. And he'll take the free kick for the Demons. Away to Steins. What a season Jim Steins has had. Hot favourite for the Brown, though. But this is going to come back. We might have to take that possession off him. It's going to come back to Yates, who apparently didn't play over the mark. Strange decision, actually. I think he penalised Obbs for Obbs, shepherding. Obbs for shepherding, I think, on the mark. Most odd. No mark taken there. It was lying up high. Viney, up towards full forward. Past Bennett it goes. Martin's got the job on Jakovic. Michael Martin clears for the ruse. Back towards the centre of the ground, and Dyson takes the mark. Dyson squares the ball, stretch and open space. Has a bounce, goes down towards the pocket. Hasn't got the carry, yes it has, Jakovic. Well that was a good kick when you consider that Martin was in front of Jakovic. Now look at that, Martin in front, and he's put it over Martin's head stretch. It was a beautiful kick off that uh, wing. Alan Jakovic kicks from 40. Holds up in the breeze and misses to the near side. A minor score, the first of the game. Stephen Stretch. And now Brayshaw in short to rock in the pocket. From defence towards half back, Steins in best position, takes the mark on his chest. Yeah, I'd like to be on him at uh, good odds for the Brown, though. I'd like to be on him at even money. Kicked by Steins right to the goal line. Just off line. And away for a behind. Melbourne have lined up with Earl Spalding at centre-half back. He was known but centre-half forward in the selected team. And Gary Lyon is at centre-half forward. Mark Brayshaw to bring the ball back for North Melbourne. Melbourne have two behinds. Melbourne yet to score. Kick by Brayshaw. Schwass is there. Scholl over the top, takes the mark away from his teammate. Away to Rock, who zigzags through. He's kicked to half forward, wide for Larkin. Awkward half volley. What a pickup. Spins out of one, into the other. Comes to German, dispossessed by Obst. Now Romero, round the corner. Good gather by Clark. 15 metre hand pass, Lyon under pressure. Love it, paddles out. Tinge, met solidly by Steele. Comes to Viney. Todd Viney, a terrific hand pass to stretch. He goes low with the pass to Jakovic. It misses him. And Martin sees it through. Melbourne's third behind. Should have gone for distance that time, Stephen Stretch. Had a shot at goal. So Melbourne doing all the attacking. Mark Brayshaw, a runner up in his hand over middle, goes in short and finds fairly. Fairly close to goal. Towards the grandstand wing, Tingay in from the side, big leap, Scholl confronted by Clark who does very well in a tight situation. Clark gets it to Tingay from left half forward, Jakovic favoured by the kick. And the mark is paid. Well there's a little bit of luck in that. Tingay under a bit of pressure put it onto his left foot, just put it in the direction of goal hoping. Jakovic caught behind, Martin under the ball. Yes, there's no doubt about that. He had a hand to it first, Jakovic. 60 goals in the reserves this season. 39 in the seniors. This for an odd century. Jakovic from 15 metres out. Should be a formality and is. So Melbourne making a good start. They're one three, and the Kangaroos are yet to score. Well, I suppose the trivia baths would be going back to see who was the last player to do what Jakovic has just done, kick 100 goals in both senior and reserve grade football, and I'd like to have a stab at it. I think it would be Mark Scott. Well, it took Jakovic just four and a half minutes to reach his milestone. And now he can get on with uh, Melbourne winning the game. Ramiro off the ground. Larkin 
taken high in the tackle. No whistle. Dyson across the half-back line. Shoal outnumbered. The spoilers came from everywhere. Todd Viney, the hand pass. Too high for Obst. Chance for Gallagher. 52 metres out. A centering kick is terrific. And the mark taken by Schwass right in front. First thrust forward for the Kangaroos. And Wayne Schwass has it directly in front, 25 metres out. Obst and Steele, not the best of friends in that. Larkin also. Obst has got the job on Matthew Larkin, the North Melbourne captain. Schwass looking for North Melbourne's first score. Shouldn't be any problem. But it got away from him. That was a gift. He looked the gift horse in the mouth and said, thank you very much, I'll go elsewhere. And you don't see many players wearing what Wayne Schwash has got on, the anklets, but they certainly do draw attention to him. Yates finds Steins on the outer side. Jim Steins, right half back. Now under partly cloudy skies at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Steins wants to play on. Strange looking kick through centre wing. McGrath was up, it falls behind. This is McRae. Schwoss back to McRae. Hard against the boundary line. Mobile defender. He kicks down inside half forward. Over the top. Oh. Rob, it's almost controlled it too. Yates cleverly got it to road. Steins from defence. Towards midfield. Clark has a bounce. A runner alongside. Clark runs to centre half forward. Jakovic is dropping back again and will mark. Three times now. Martin playing in front. Jakovic has come up with the ball. And Jakovic asking for, and he's quite within his rights to ask, what about 50 metres? Because there's a bit of a tension here. Bang! Just there. He runs around. He kicks. A behind. Melbourne by nine. Well, Alan Jakovic has taken three marks and has kicked one goal too. So he's got the uh, job ahead of him, Michael Martin, a real sprinter against him at full forward. Gallagher marks the kick in. The kick by Jakovic bringing up a behind. North Melbourne bringing the ball from full back up to the centre. Rock goes wide to half forward. Longmire marks inside the 50. He plays on. John Longmire goes for goal. Nobody back there. Oh, oh, Yates did particularly well and took a sensational mark. Good mark. Obst. Well, oh, Bryce against his old team lost control of it. Dropped it there. And the ball goes out of play. The umpire said deliberate. Free kick to North Melbourne. Going to John Longmire. Longmire, the leading goal kicker in the competition last year with 98. Kicking from about 45 metres on the boundary line. Good effort. Right over the goal on Pryor's hat. North Melbourne's first. 1-4 to 1-1. Well, that was an excellent kick for goal. An excellent kick for goal. Hard on the boundary. At least he opens up the face of the goal being on his right foot. But still from that position, that was excellent. John Longmire, 3-3 last week. His kicking has let him down just a little. The Demons lead by three points. Steins taps it away. Steele was bumped in the back and will get the free kick. Just forward of the centre circle, Darren Steele, probing kick, Spalding drops back, drops the mark to Carey, his first touch, I don't know, a penalty. I don't think anybody touched Spalding on that occasion, did they? He touched the ball briefly, towards the wing, oh. Lyon, clever mark while being held by McGrath. Gary Lyon, who was superb against Carlton last week, particularly in the second half, beat the tribunal during the week. Kicks the Woods half forward. Bennett's in front. Fisted away by Fairley. Chandler. Schwass leads in the race. Beveridge does well. Works his way in front. Well played, Beveridge. Jay Viney emerges with it. Chandler's got him. Down he goes. McRae has the ball now. Left half back. McRae with some time. Decides to have a bounce. Took all his time. And as a result, the kick not particularly good. Roberts has got the run of it, though, around the outer side. 
Big Mark Roberts, 55 metres from goal, settles now. Sends one high down towards the kickoff line. Long Longmire, great mark by Carey. Carey coming back with the flight of the ball. Yes, well, all eyes were on Longmire and Bryce as they were jostling. The high ball coming from Roberts. And you can see there Bryce holding the arm of Longmire as Carey came in. He took a reasonably easy chest mark. Ten metres out directly in front. Should get this. Unless he's very rusty. He's got it. North Melbourne, against the trend of play, really, lead by three points. Well, he is a class at forward. This man on screen, he's only a youngster, originally from North Adelaide. Here's the high ball. But he was in sensational form early in the season. He's got tremendous courage, as you can see there, running with a flight of the ball, or more or less... Eyes only for the ball. He's done that on a number of occasions. So North have hit the front for the first time against the trend of play. Gallagher wins in the middle. Schwash taking it backwards. German tries one out of the air. And then applies a tackle to Clark. No whistle. Beveridge out of the middle for Melbourne. Jay Viney did well. Lyon, a great hand pass to Viney. 40 metres out, Viney. Steers it low into the wind. Djakovic. Mark and goal. Well, when you're hot, Alan Djakovic certainly is hot. Everything coming off, isn't it? The ball here is a good hand pass from line to get it across to Viney. Viney then sets sail towards the goal. And look at Djakovic. Bang. Well, Martin's got to reassess his tactics, I think. Not sure he's the man for the job. And Gumbledon, Frank Gumbledon, the north runner, going out to Michael Martin. Back in the middle, we've got a whistle. Centre square infringement. North Melbourne free. Gallagher will take it. Gallagher plays on. Kicking towards half forward. Poor kick. No one on the mark. Poor effort by Ops. Bryce scrambles it out. Gained about 15 metres. This is Scholl. He's at right half forward. Bryce, a chance to make amends, and he does this time playing his 10th game for Melbourne having transferred from North Melbourne stretch around the outer side intelligent kick Dyson running into space drops the mark Melbourne dropping a lot of marks Viney to Dyson Dyson forward of the wing Lyon in best position McGraw will need to go Lyon will get a free kick that was, see, that very was clever. my word that was well done by Gary Lyon there he propped knew where McGraw was behind him they're propping he used his body well and really did draw the umpire's attention to the fact. And he also sucked McGrath in. Yes, well, he denied McGrath the run at the ball. Had he gone straight to it, Lyon, McGrath would have been able to punch away. He would have had the run, as it was. Lyon has got the ball 35 metres out from goal. What does the champ do? He misses to the right-hand side. She laid back on that when he made contact with the ball, Gary Lyon. His first score... 2-4 last week. Had he have been a little more accurate, he would have kicked about six goals. Six or seven goals, I believe. Well, Melbourne inaccurate. They could be four goals in front. Instead of that, they're four points in front. Bennett marks the kick in. And he could kick this through. Yep, will be on the edge of the centre square. In fact, inside the centre square, about 60 metres from goal, Darren Bennett has gone out of the goal kicking in the last few weeks since the arrival of Djakovic this one won't make it, Djakovic again got hands to it at the back line and McGrath rushes it through for another behind of Melbourne they're 2-6 to 2-1 generally so far looking the better side the Demons Mark Brayshaw North playing the huddle is fairly on a lead just a token one. Brayshaw spears the pass into Chandler. Not much margin for error, but Chandler takes the mark up from the back pocket. Resolute defender. Kicks towards half back. Gallagher's in front. Good mark. German towards centre wing. Roberts on the lead. Ian Spaulding track it across the boundary line. Mike Roberts, who played so well in that surprise victory over the West Coast Eagles.
cast in the role of a forward these days. Throw it in. Steins and Gallagher. Well taken by German. He's a fine player. Hurried kick down towards half forward stretch leading back in the race. They go through the bunker and it's out of bounds. Yes. Be lucky to get out in one shot from this one, too. <laughs> Never do. <laughs> Throw in on the 50. Stein's front position. Rock for North Melbourne. Can't get a kick clear. Yates does for Melbourne. Centre wing. Love it. Good running by Beveridge. A poor kick. Bennett charges at it. Overruns with Fairley. Fairley comes up with the ball. German, a great hand pass to Swass. A step by Swass. Rugby tackled by Beveridge. Play on at the umpire. <laughs> McCray. He gets a free kick. Well, I think maybe umpire Cameron a bit slow to react. He gave the second free kick. Amazing. Well, if that wasn't round the legs, I've never seen one. Dean McRae from 55 metres. Oh, it's close. Oh. Home for a goal. North in front. Well, he's had a lot of absence from the game, Dean McRae. First game back was against Essendon a couple of weeks ago, and that is a magnificent kick, 55 metres out. Would have gone every bit of 60 metres. But he really did have a good quarter last week. Let's hope he continues on from that last quarter of last week. North Melbourne by a point, German out of the middle. Just looking at Luke Beveridge after that last tackle. He's got Nugget on his chin. Longmire comes out. Picked up by Rock, didn't have the ball eventually. Longmire to Romero, confronted. Road pushes it across to Obst, who gets it to Spalding. Breaks the tackle, Spalding. Roberts had him, but he got away. Kick towards the outer side. Good mark is taken by Storitsky. Just drifting across the face of the oncoming pack. Storitsky back towards centre half forward. Steins in best position. Oh, good mark. Confident mark, wasn't it? Terrific mark. Roberts was bearing down on him. Trying to punch away, and Steins was strong enough. Squares it. This is Phoebe. We thought about going on. Steve Phoebe, right half back towards centre wing. Lyon should mark, and does. He's being held on to by McGrath, and I think that's what the free kick was all about. Quickly, it came out to Jay Viney. High ball to the 50. Bennett in the middle of the pack, can't take the mark. Peter German for North. Well, a seesawing game. And they're turning on a similar contest to what they did in the first round. Lyon marks at centre wing. Clark back to Lyon. Gary Lyon steers the pass inside half forward. Todd Viney there. Can't take the mark. Scholl gets the hand pass to Martin. His first clear possession on Jakovic. Martin up the ground to Brayshaw. Back to Martin. The half forward. Bryce tried to punch away. Yates walked one way. Slipped in the moving turf. And Bryce takes the ball out of play. About 55 metres out. I'm getting a few boos from the North Melbourne supporters. The North lead by a point, 3-1 to 2-6. Boundary throw in about 60 metres out from North's attacking goal. Steins over the top. Clark goes off the deck. Brayshaw is in front of Lovett. Mark Brayshaw just up from right centre wing. Interesting game so far. Probing kick intended for Longmire. Carey, quick hands. Schwass running away from goal. German, right on the 50, Peter German. Squares it. North have the numbers out there. Obst did well. And the ball runs out of bounds. Obst standing his ground. Again tagging today. He's picking up Matthew Larkin. Last week it was Craig Bradley, and he tagged him out of the game. It was Darren Crocker. Rock for North. Hooks it up towards the pocket. Too wide and out of bounds. Kerry leading Road to the ball that time. But it'll be a free kick to Peter Road. Who in the last couple of seasons has had some stars to mark. Dermot Burton amongst them. But uh, today he's got Wayne Kerry, who's playing his first game since round 10. This kick short of centre wing. Thump forward by McGrath. Phoebe. Gains a couple of metres. And another throwy. 19 to 18. And we have just over nine minutes remaining to quarter time. McGrath is the chap coming off for North Melbourne. Crocker on. McGrath is on Lyon. At the moment, Martin has been left on Jakovic. 
Chandler, Rock nearly the mark, comes to Bryce, his hand pass is good, Dyson to Clark, Stein through the middle to centre half forward, Bennett, no not quite, Brayshaw takes it away, Todd Viney, lost it, regained it, the hand pass back, Stephen Clark, thumps it high, one out is Jakovic, Martin a punch from behind, Martin following up, Met solidly. Jakovic back after it. Still only about 35 metres out. 40 out. Left foot snap. A beautiful effort. Great goal. Well, what justice is there in football? Martin was doing all the right things, but at the critical time, he made that mistake. Jakovic, who was behind when the ball came down, really didn't follow up there. Martin doing well. Then he goes on with it. Bit of a fumble, appealing for the free kick. And then the opportunist, Jakovic, who really does go well onto that left foot. A magnificent left foot snap. Melbourne in front. Jakovic has three goals. The timing of that last interchange was horrendous for North Melbourne. Put a man short in defence. There goes the kick. Oh, that was holding too. Ryan didn't get the free. Martin towards the wing. Gallagher on his chest. Wants to play on. Feeds Larkin. He goes down towards half forward. In front, Roberts. Strong effort. Spalding up early. Roberts held his ground. Little chip pass towards the pocket and Rock. Rock 35 metres out. Slides it across the face. Magnificent Mark Carey. Now he dropped it. Longmire with strength. Pulls it back. Goal. Well, it turned out to be an easy goal for John Longmire because he was only in the goal square when he let that one go. But what a sensational leap by Carey. Here's Rock, the high ball. I thought that Carey might have got that. Look how high he got up. but just couldn't control it on the way down. Longmire with strength breaks away from road. And then from the edge of the 10-metre square over the left shoulder, his second. So North Melbourne back in front by a point. Brett Lovett now on the back line asking the selection bench who's he picking up. He's got two opponents on that half back line. Back in the middle, neither Steins nor Gallagher. Five lead changes we've had already in the first 22 minutes of the game. Melbourne out of the middle, the pass is beautiful to Jakovic. And he is a sensation, Alan Jakovic. He's already taken five marks, coming up for his sixth kick. And will it be his fourth goal? And very, very quick over the initial few yards, Drew. You can see him there getting the break on Martin. Who's the man for him? I think McRae might be best suited. Very quick. Could this be another change in the lead? Demons trail by a point. Jakovic kicks through this hard. Great kick. Four goals in the first turn. That was an excellent kick. An excellent kick. For his fourth goal, Alan Jakovic. There he is getting away from Martin. The pressure has really got to come on the guys up the ground so they're not able to deliver the ball. And that is a magnificent kick for goal. So Jakovic with four goals. 43 for the season. Fast becoming a cult figure at the MCG. Gallagher doing well against Steins. Schwartz pushed off it by Dyson. Obst against the flow, gets it to Viney. Tenge missed it. Obst knocked down by Larkin. Schwass, good hand pass. Rock away to steal. Goes to Romero. Brayshaw is on. Settles. Run down superbly by Phoebe. Longmire almost in the back. Nothing doing. Bryce battling in there. Slapped out of the congestion. Stretched close to the boundary line. Got it across to Tenge. And Lovett escorts it out of bounds. Well, actually, John Longmire is very, very lucky because how Earl Spaulding missed him, I'll never know. He had his head down over the ball, Spaulding running in the opposite direction, nearly collecting him on the 10-metre square. Both coaches showing concern. It's hard to know who's got an advantage here. Nobody at this stage. Dyson, the ladies kick a bit too long. Gallagher, a clever tap. German, a spin. Left foot kick. Hooked it. Carey tried to keep it in. And he's moving pretty well for a man who hasn't played for 10 weeks. And we'll have a throw in in the forward pocket for North. Melbourne by five points. 4-6 four, to 4-1. Four, Jakovic has kicked four goals, two in the first quarter. Just under five and a half minutes to quarter time. Neither Ruckman again. 
comes to Roberts, kicks Mothered. Melbourne out of defence. And out of bounds, about 25, 30 metres from goal. It was well followed up by Steins. He was responsible for that ball. Getting away from the Mel North Melbourne goal square. Six possessions so far for Steins. Make that seven. Five kicks, two hand passes. Busy again today. This is Doritsky on the outer side to McRae. Running out of space, he comes back onto the right foot. Kicks it inside the attacking 50. Steins once more. Hey, I'd like to be on him at odds on. Mm. Terrific season. Towards midfield. Not a good kick, though. McRae is up. Juggles the attempted mark. Missed it eventually. Steins tries to go off the ground. A rather lion. Down he goes. Crocker feeds it across to McRae. Up towards the 50. Too long for Gallagher. Well, played it well. The hand pass in is good to German. Left foot kick. Longmire one out. Oh, Rice spoiling. No whistle. Gallagher follows up. Is that a goal? Oh, close. It was well done by the big fellow. Gallagher to follow up there. He's playing well, but of course mobility the problem in trying to match Steins. This is Spalding. Left half back towards centre wing. Love it. Stretching out. Couldn't quite get there. Controls it pretty well, though. Then Rachel got him. Love it. Slaps it across to the support offered by Dyson. It goes on the boundary line and scrambles a kick towards half court. Oh, Crocker well, was held well. without it. Actually, that was well done by Lyon because he used his body well to get in front initially. Then he missed it and really did put pressure on McRae. Crocker towards half forward. Gallagher interfered with Stein. So Stein's pushing up towards double figures in possessions in this first term. Across to Clark. Clark inside the attacking 50. Dropping back the mark is held by Fairley. Melbourne lead by four points. Kick by in fairly to centre wing. Steins with Gallagher again. At the back. Phoebe sees it out. Now in the hit outs department. North at the moment leading seven to three. But Steins around the ground. Four marks, nine possessions. This one comes to Crocker. Bouncing ball towards the 50. Comes through to Roberts. Off to Romero. Jose caught by Yates. Oh, oh. oh! Holding it he is. What pace by Graham Yates. That was the perfect tackle, wasn't it? He was helpless. Stretch. Takes the hand pass and kicks towards the outer side wing. Beveridge with the pace. Hooks it down towards half forward. Bennett. Bennett and Fairley. Neither of them very quick. Bennett. Wayward kick. Out of bounds on the full. In the right full forward pocket. Well, Darren Bennett, Alan Jakovic has four goals, and you get the feeling he could be the man squeezed out of this team, not suited by playing across half forward. Well, they've got uh, Rod Owen to come back. Yep. Martin towards the outer side. Lyon. This is McRae. Hurried kick under pressure. Floats one down towards the wing. Stretch goes back. Storitsky running with the ball. Collided with his teammate Roberts. Eventually it comes out to Jay Viney. Stretch. Hard against the boundary line. Hooks it down towards half forward. Lyon is there with Crocker. Off the ground, Lyon. Fairly controlled it pretty well, given the awkward nature of the bouncing ball, and deflected it out of bounds. Gary Lyon is a class player. A class player. It's just the way he got the ball on then. Off the ground. Melbourne by four points. Todd Viney just gets the hand pass clear. Rock for North had it spent. German, Brayshaw. Crocker. Chance for North to hit the front before quarter time. Crocker straight up the ground. Carey climbs in front. The mark not paid to Spalding. Dyson, no mark. Phoebe crashes squash. Ooh, ooh that's a good... Empire Source is going to ball it up near centre wing. In rather hard there, Jay Viney on Schwoss. And Storitsky saw it. Oh, down goes Steins again. Phoebe actually wins the hit out. German, been prominent. His left footer to centre half forward. Romero, good trap. Again. Caught again by Yates. Ball spills free. Stretch got the hand pass to Phoebe. He lost control of it. North still a chance. Romero tripped over himself. The hand pass is blocked. Comes to Roberts. He kicks some vital winning goals against the Eagles. Roberts this time offline behind.
Runner there very quickly. 4 3 to 4 6. Todd Viney going off and he's limping too. That'll be a loss for Melbourne because he has picked up about or averages about 26 possessions a game. Simon Eichel coming on. Roberts, a big fist back towards the pocket. Less than 20 seconds remaining in the term and the ball is out of bounds. So, North Melbourne a chance to get one last score. The medical staff a little concerned there. Down to five seconds. Backward of the pack, Schwass going nowhere. There's the siren, so at quarter time, very entertaining first quarter. Melbourne 4-6, lead North Melbourne 4-3. Donald McDonald then in screen. Start of the second term of the MCG. Steins at the second attempt. Eichold is on the ground now. Hurried kick down towards half forward. Eventually, Lyon gets it across to Eichold. His kick is astray down towards the pocket. Jakovic, the star of the opening term with four goals, tracks it across the boundary line. German ten possessions in the first quarter. Rock had seven. They were the leaders for North Melbourne. And for Melbourne, we mentioned the performance of Jim Steins. Ten possessions. Bennett is up. Knocks it away. Eichold, who's been in the thick of things, showed courage to go down on that ball, but socket away by McRae eventually outside the defensive 50. Race back. Phoebe leads. Storitsky sockers it away, though, and it goes across the boundary line for a throw in. Jakovic's stats in the first quarter five marks, six kicks, four goals, two. Lyon and Crocker for the boundary throw in. Beveridge. Can't get it clear. Lyon again. Little hand pass. Hand pass from Phoebe to Clark. Rock. He needed courage to go in there and get the ball. And he had it to Storitsky. To centre wing. Steins over the top of uh, Gallagher. No mark. Punch to the front. Jim Steins. Beveridge caught in German's tackle. And it comes uh, just inside the line to Phoebe. Fairly in front, and Marks. Well, he was almost like a forward mark into that with Bennett trailing him. Phoebe, or rather Fairly, out of defence. Towards centre wing, and the mark is held by Steins. Interesting, the influence of Matthew Larkin so far. Just the one kick. So Ob's doing another very good job this afternoon. This is Clark. It was a good kick from Steins into space. Clark running hard, and will kick from right on the 50. We saw Robs close down Craig Bradley last Saturday and set up the victory for the Demons. Again today, a key playmaker has been taken out by the ex-South Australian. Clark's kick, not particularly good. Jakovic almost the chest mark, but spilled it. McRae pushes towards the boundary line. Jakovic claiming he was held. But it will be thrown in. Melbourne a 4-6, North Melbourne a 4-3. And the Demons deep in their attacking area. Bennett this time. Comes to McRae. Round the boundary line. Dyson after it. To full forward. Martin in front this time. Takes the mark in front of Jakovic. There was one occasion in the first quarter when he had similar position. Jakovic still finished up kicking a goal. Just bounces through a couple of players right to the centre of the ground. Earl Spalding there. Did he throw it to Yates? Yates the hand pass. Jay Biney just beats Roberts' tackle. Rock for North. Well played by Little Rock. A little way to German. Brayshaw's kick to centre wing. Stretch up high. Schwoss. Roberts. Never looks too quick, but he's playing well at the moment. And he was slow that time. Dragged down by Stretch. Comes to Steele. Named as an emergency. Started in the 18. Chandler over the top. Peter German knocking up getting possessions. He centres to the goal square. Longmire from behind. He's got it. Plays on and didn't kick the goal. It comes to Larkin. He does. Well, he has been quiet today, Matthew Larkin. But what a mistake by John Longmire. He took a good mark behind Bryce and then decided to play on whether the ball was touched. The umpire called. But here it is, German. A high ball up. Steady's onto the right foot. Longmire has a drop. 
Looked like a mark to me, but well cut off by Ops. But there's his man, Larkin. North Melbourne by three points. Grinter is on. Jay Viney is off. Dyson, a hurried kick, flooding it down towards centre half forward. Brayshaw squares the ball virtually out towards right half back. Scholl slips over. Tengay keeps it in front and runs it across the line. Scholl not happy. Stephen Tengay. A remarkable return to football. Dennis, he cut himself badly, fell through a pane of glass at pre season. He's got some horrible scars on his legs, lost a lot of blood, but he's made it back. It's a terrific effort to him. Chandler gets it down to German. He kicks it straight up in the air. Chandler goes again and gains about 30 metres around the outer side with a fist on. Roberts keeps it in. Spalding goes back and gets it to Yates. Yates driving long towards half forward. Crocker will need to go and does, punching away from Steins. Down goes German. He's in everything. The ball's out of bounds. No, German's getting a free kick. So German, his 14th possession from right half back towards centre wing. Roberts, almost the mark. That's an interesting duel. Spalding dragged off it. Claimed his obs down. He goes. Wrestled to the ground by Storitsky, another former South Australian. And it will be a bounce down. Umpire could have been technical on that occasion and awarded the free kick against Spalding for throwing the ball. North Melbourne by three points. We've had seven changes in the lead. Steins clean possession. Hand pass astray. Steal for North. Spalding getting back there. Met by Romero, who's caught by Yates for about the fourth time today. <laughs> the umpire will ball it up. I don't think he likes to tag Jose Romero. He had a brilliant first quarter last week, the Melbourne reserve players. Three goals, but then Lamb was put onto him and he was shut right out of the game. Gallagher wins down to Rock. Down he goes in Beveridge's tackle, holding the ball, says umpire Cameron. Free kick, Luke Be Beveridge. He's at left half back, he goes towards centre wing. Good mark in front by Crocker. Switched on to Lyon midway through that opening term. McGrath started on Lyon. Here's Crocker from the wing towards centre half forward. They've all got a run at this one. Carey goes up, but Steins, marvellous. Another possession. Steins, marking better this season than he ever has, gets it across to Road. And when you think about the luxury Melbourne showed over the last couple of seasons of using O'Dwyer and finding a place for Steins or sometimes using him off the bench, Steins now relishing the situation on the ground as Grinter goes down towards half forward and Lovett Lovett pulls it back, Jakovic in the best spot down there, almost the mark recovers best, running away from his own goal, Alan Jakovic with some time now, pulls it back just misses he's an exciting player, he has that something special about him that sets him apart and Schwash going off, Stevens coming on for North Melbourne Alan Jakovic, who kicked just over the century for Woodville in South Australia last year and has really moved around in his football career. Germans kick, the half-back flank. Grinter bust the pack. Well done, Luke Beveridge. Oh, he showed courage then, didn't he? Up by said he threw the ball and has pinged it. You say a good tackle by Matthew Larkin, if that's the case. Larkin from half-back for North. Two points the margin, North in front. Pack centre of the ground, Phoebe the mark. Away to Yates. Kick by Yates. A lot of room here for Jakovic. One out with his opponent, Martin. He gets rid of him, but the ball hurries out. Jakovic tunnels it back in. Great play. And he snapped for goal across the face. Lyon. Oh, just touched on the behind line and threw for a minor score. Matthew Larkin has been released from that half-forward flank. Now getting a little freedom on the, as a ruck rover. But off still with him. That was brilliant by Jakovic on the outer side to keep the ball in. This is Martin to Storitsky. Out of defence, a high one towards right half back and Scholl, a very strong mark in front. Craig Scholl, another of the heroes in that victory nine days ago over the West Coast Eagles. He kicks down towards half forward. Steins again, another mark. So Steins has taken seven marks now. His 14th possession. Off hands it falls to Stevens. Back towards North's half forward line. 
stretch almost a one-hander rock oh, does nicely so. Romero from 40 meters out he's off target here he goes back with road and a minor score North increased their lead it's two points now kick in by road stretching the pack again Obst Dyson hand pass a bit slick for Arshold Chandler for North well played by Jeff Chandler high ball short of half forward Spalding front oh. nothing paid for that comes to Dyson beats a couple of tackles spoil came late from behind from Bennett very open forward line again Jakovic a big show here in the goal square he's hot isn't he Jakovic Martin did the right thing started in front but then lost it well playing in front might not be the right thing against Jakovic taking his eye off the ball really wasn't he Michael Martin looking at that Dennis well, he's been beaten about four times playing in front Don maybe he's got to reassess what he's doing this for number five Melbourne back in front well, it was a good effort actually by Darren Bennett because he was at center half forward he really had to go and spoil the ball which he did and then followed up and let go with a big kick and there's Djokovic only eyes for the ball Martin in front you can see there Martin not even looking at the ball more concerned with the opponent Edged out of position and finished up an easy mark. Good passage of play by Melbourne. You're a stats man, Don. When was the last time a player kicked the first five goals for his team? Ooh. I'll leave you to ponder that. 5 8 to 5 4. Back in the middle, Steins gets it down. Eichel to Clark in trouble. Brazier has got it. First through. Kicks it towards half forward. Back goes Spalding. Well gathered on the half volley by Yates. Pumping kick back towards half forward. Beveridge, close to the boundary line. Luke Beveridge goes looking for Jakovic. Jakovic drops it. Martin picks it up. Well played. Strong tackle by Beveridge. It comes to luck and nevertheless kicks towards the middle of the ground. And courage shown by Dyson drifting across to claim that mark. Dyson alongside the center circle. Kevin Dyson. Been a really good player in his first season. Free kick, Jakovic. Oh, surely a oh, free kick. Right around the neck by Martin. Listen to the crowd. Lovett kept it in for Melbourne. Storitsky ducks a high tackle. Gets the hand pass away to Scholl. Red hot that. Scholl up towards centre wing. Gallagher should mark and does. Into German. Peter oh. German holding things together in the middle for North. A Shepherd illegal behind play. And into the book goes Roberts. That's bad luck for Mark Roberts. See there, Andrew Ops. Bad luck flexing the jaw because he has been playing well. Well, Roberts from best on ground to in the book in the space of nine days. Ops the hand pass away to Steins, and once again the umpires, umpire saws this time, going to make it come back to Andrew Obst. Obst on the wing, penetrating kick. North Melbourne have got the numbers, but Bennett had the run at that one and has taken the mark. About 35 metres out from goal. Brayshaw back on Jakovic now. So it took five goals for the change to be made. Martin's gone to the half back flank. Picking up Brett Lovett. Has Brayshaw got the pace to go with Jakovic? We'll find out. Bennett's kick. Misses to the near side. A behind then. And the Demons lead by five points. It's 5-9 to 5-4. Got a classical kicking style, Darren Bennett. Brayshaw finds Storitsky. Just inside the defensive 50. Kicks into the man on the mark, Phoebe. Who goes back after it. Well played. Gets it to Clark. Draws a man. Pops it over to Beveridge. 20 metres out, Beveridge. Brayshaw forces it through. Good defence by Crocker. Going very hard at Beveridge. Forced an error. He smothered the ball, didn't he? Or got a hand to it. Well, he certainly made him change what he was going to do. He pulled the kick, if in fact it wasn't a smother. He was lunging at him, Crocker. And Brayshaw content to sacrifice a behind. So the margin is six points, and this is McRae. 40 to 34, Melbourne in front. Kick by McRae to centre wing. Scholl, punched to the ground. Well, that one hurt. 
And the kick to Craig Scholl. To half forward. Yates. Been picking Just up the well rest of Rover. And uh, marking well there at the front. Across the half back line to find a bit of space. Road coming up from defence. Gets a kind bounce. The kick by Road very wide. He was decked after he got rid of the kick. Well, that was the second one infringement on Stevens. He gave the first one away to Clark as Road was breaking. And then gave away the second. Followed up and another push out. The ball's coming back. Isn't that a relay free? Well, it sh really should be. It's against Stevens. Printer off the bench in this second quarter. Stevens trying to cover him as well. Jakovic at the back of the pack. Stein's in there. Clark front. Snap is offline. So whether they're trying to maintain Jakovic's record of kicking all the goals, I'm not sure. But Clark should have kicked that one. 5-11 to 5-4. And the scoring shots, more than the score itself, tells the story of this first half. Melbourne have had most of the ball. Brayshaw goes in short and finds Fairley. Up towards centre-half back. He goes towards the outer side wing from behind Scholl. Good leap, good mark. Plays on immediately, gets it across to Steele. One bounce. He's on the wing now. Runner inside. That's German. German with plenty of time. Pops it out wide looking for Carey. Almost the clever mark. Did the hard stuff but couldn't hang on. This is Rock. Confronted by Yates. Breaks clear. Pulls it back. Back goes Bryce. Marks in the goal square. Rebound opportunity for the Demons. Ooh, Road. Lucky. It took a long time to get there. Longmire almost beat it. You see, that's good harassment by Longmire. Road was trying to play on, but he just was frustrated by Longmire's arms. Road out of the back pocket. Lyon has it knocked away by Crocker. Larkin goes off the ground. It goes out of bounds just inside the 50. Gallagher going off. Schwash on for North Melbourne. Roberts may go into the ruck. Gallagher, four marks, eight possessions, and winning the hitouts, but Stein's brilliant around the ground. Road, little hand pass to stretch from half back. Love it with Stevens. Bennett for Melbourne. Crocker gathers for North. Pretty open forward line. German slip free. Peter German open goal coming up. Oh, Yates came at him. German slipped. Romero caught oh, by Fenry. He has been knocked over a hundred times, Romero. Was that a throw on a... That was bad luck for German. Should have been a North goal. Nearly written German's goal in the record. Just slipped at the wrong moment. Steins gets it down. Rock is claimed by Ops. German goes off the ground. This is Phoebe, close to the boundary line. Keeps it in, but it's all North Melbourne. Scholl drops back, takes the mark. No one standing the mark. Scholl, well, he hesitated. Eventually, he goes for distance. In the pocket, Bryce, good mark. Out marking Longmire. Gets it to Stretch, who decides to run it out. Clark will have to run very hard, and he is. Stretch kicks in that direction. Not a particularly good kick for Clark. Knocked away by McRae. Bennett, Eichold keeps it in front. Well done, Bennett. Into the path of Eichold. Probing kick down towards Jankovic. Through his fingertips. Lyon roving the pack. He's 30 metres from goal. Goes back to the voice supplied by Lovett. Unkind bounce. Jankovic couldn't control it. Knocked away by Brayshaw. This is Larkin. And away he comes from the back pocket. Well, an exciting passage of play. Matty Larkin's kick. Martin at centre wing. Hand pass just touched by Bennett, but he couldn't knock it free. Fairly to Schwoss. Schwoss just back on after a spell on the oh, bench. Oh, good mark. mark. Right. That was a good mark. He went to ground, Bryce, but got up and still took the mark. Kick by Bryce, short of centre wing. Bennett in front. Fairly a spoil. Brinter. High shoulder. Hard one. Same Ooh. direction as the ball. Glad it was him, not me. Took the mark and plays on. Brayshaw in front of Jankovic. Takes it on his chest. So just a goal apiece so far in this term. Storitsky needed to go and did. Good mark. Showed a lot of courage. Now he's away. One bounce through the middle. Long kick. Longmire on the lead row. Gutsy mark. effort. Good mark by Road. Now he's away. End-to-end -end stuff. Not too many scores. Road towards half forward. Eichold. Good play by Lyon to keep Crocker down. Allowed Eichold to drift in front of them. 
Certainly was. Jakovic is favoured by the kick. Back he goes. Clark will give it over the top, Willie, to Jakovic. Pops it up very high in the air. Jakovic and Brayshaw. Brayshaw did well. Lyon couldn't control it. Brayshaw once more. Good defence. Gets it to Storitsky. Scholl. Pepper evasion. McRae. Back to Scholl. Scholl runs it up towards the wing. Kicks towards half forward. Yates. No contest. 50, 50. metres. Against Wayne Carey. Graham Yates wants to watch it. Nearly put the hand in... Carey's face could have given away that uh, free kick or the 50 metres. There it is, 50 metres. Silly. Kick by Yates. Jakovic leads. Yeah. Well, you might be asking the question, when was the last time a player kicked the first five? But later in the game, we might be saying all 12 or 15, the way well, this is going. That's a good kick by Yates and also a good lead by Jakovic. Don's still working on it. That's his project. Well, obviously, you know the answer, Dennis. No, no idea. Who would it be? Can you think of someone? Ablett, did he do that? Or six? I don't think they've made that record book. Jakovic. This one holds up a bit back into the breeze. Just sneaks home, though. Oh. Well, what a remarkable goal just dropped it really did hold up distance was a problem so you can go back North Melbourne and rue the 50 meter penalty because that 50 meter penalty gave Yates the kick and he sent it up towards Jakovic for a goal out of the middle north but only as far as stretch I was thinking the last time a player kicked all his team's goals I can think of one it was John Worsfold at Windy Hill for the Eagles the season before last or so. One. That's right. <laughs> Out of bounds. Right half forward for Melbourne. Our uh, Siri did it this season. That's yeah. right, of course, against Footscray. A lot of input. 6-11 to 5-4. Melbourne doing well at the present time, having their best patch of the game. At least on the scoreboard. Steele got it to Schwass. This is German. He's been very good in the opening half. Lures a man, then pops it across to Scholl. He swings it out very wide, presenting Longmire with quite a task. He tries to knock it to Romero. He's caught again. Yates got him again. Yates is doing very oh, well. Larkin taken high. That was rather clumsy by Clark. Oh, this will be reversed. By Cameron going across, having a word to Scholl. The kick, I think, will stand. Well, really, he should have reversed it. It's a relay kick. Now, hang on, it's going off the hand pass. He's given it. So oh, he's relayed see. it. Only about 10 metres, but a better angle for German. He'll kick this, Peter German. He's a terrific player, Peter German. And that's a fine kick. <laughs> North Melbourne. Get closer. That's their sixth. Their 6 4. Melbourne 6 11. Well, not a problem to German. He usually lets him go. If he gets it around the 50-metre mark on the run, it's usually a goal. He was only 40 metres out on that occasion. He wasn't on the run, but distance wasn't a problem for him. And he's done exceptionally well today, Peter German. 19 possessions so far, Don. Five and three-quarter minutes to go to halftime. Steins wins in the middle. Lyon. Martin in the ruck, too, for North Melbourne. Gallagher off the ground. They're really lacking a specialist ruckman. Chandler's hand pass is knocked down. Comes to Tingay. Stein's out in open space. Can he get this? Maybe Drew Martin's got to just run or use his mobility on Stein's. That might be the reason why Martin is in the ruck. Also the fact that he couldn't control Jakovic. A boundary throw in. Seven points the difference. Melbourne in front. Clean possession. No, he had clean possession. Then it was dirty possession. Stein's. Now Melbourne have it. Obst. His left footer, Jakovic from behind. Oh. Plays on. Will this make it? Oh, it broke back and was taken over the line. So, give it a rush behind. We won't give it a score to Jakovic, but I've got him for six goals, four. Why did he play on? That's the question. Only 30 metres out, if that. Now, actually, Peter Cameron's having a word to him now. Not frightened the mouth off, Alan Jankovic. 
No, he seems pretty fiery. Brayshaw kicks in. Schwass up in front. Good grab, that one. Actually, Gary Lyon should have punched that on that occasion. He was behind. Underestimated Schwass, obviously. He's a left half back. Towards centre wing. Carey got a fist on it. Got it away from Spaulding. This is Larkin. Pretty quiet so far. Inside to Steele. Steele running towards half forward. Intent initially on drawing him in. Still he wants to, but eventually was indecisive and wasted the kick. It's gone directly across the ground. BB leads in the race out there. No one to kick to. He goes towards the boundary. Scholl trying to get across there in time. It's a pretty good effort. What a wonderful kick around the outer side by Stephen Phoebe. He looked up. Scholl was the only man within, I suppose, 70 or 80 metres down the ground, and he beat him, just running it out of bounds, tantalisingly close to the North Melbourne player. Actually, what Steele did could almost uh, earn him a conversation on the phone with the coach. He ran way too far and didn't use his teammates. McGrath a rock. Short pass to German. Peter German outstanding. Round the corner he goes to Roberts at right half forward. Too far out to score. Centering kick. Long by with Bryce. She's doing well, Bryce. He's in front. Being held that time and wins the free kick. Yes, he's been a good player. Beveridge up before acceptances. Steins with Swass. Holding the ball. Oh, yes. Well, Jimmy well. Steins can't do a thing wrong. Oh. You wouldn't see that too often, would you? A real will of the wrist like Swass. And Steins was sweating on him and got it. Marvellous stuff by the champ. Plus 50. What a play. He is unique. There's no question about that, Jim Steins. He's hard to categorise. Centering kick. Back goes Bennett. Got a hand to it. It falls behind. Scholl comes away. German again. McRae on the burst. Up through midfield. Probing kick. Intended for Longmire, who gets rid of Bryce. Runs oh, back right in an on. open goal and kicks it. Well, the umpire had no angle on that one. He was running down the middle. Bryce was between he and Longmire, and I'm sure he couldn't have seen oh. what the heck happened there. 7 4 to 6 12. Well, a, play, again. a player doesn't come out of screen or in play at a million miles an hour if he's not pushed. Look at that. You can't fight that. Oh. But anyway, that's Longmire's third goal. He won't take it back. Oh. Well, Longmire got away with that. Kick his third goal. That's 73 for the season. Back in the middle with two and a half minutes to go to half time. Anybody's game. Demons by two points. Steins wins the hit out. Lyon. Love it applying the tackle. Played that by McRae. Gave the hand pass away. Steins another possession. Oh, big climb and a mark by Scholl. Most improved player, Craig Scholl. Kick by Scholl to half forward. Steins gets back there and punches away to the front. Eichel to Grinter. Grinter straight up the middle. Jakovic. He was held down by Brayshaw. Fairley took the mark. Great mark by Fairley. Kicks towards the outer side wing. Melbourne have got the numbers out there. German kept out of it. Tengay's got it. Didn't know what to do with it. German's beaten three of them. Across to Stevens, who kicks down towards half forward. Steins once more. Jim Steins, eighth mark, 17th possession. Grinter tries to knock it on. Stephen slips over. Did well, got it to Scholl, who's having a very good second term. Kicks in towards centre half forward. Beveridge arriving in the nick of time, but Martin with power. 35 metres out, goes goal when it's good. Great goal, North. So North Melbourne have kicked the last three or four goals, is it? And that comes storming back. Certainly the last three. And this is Stein's man, Michael Martin. And Martin using his mobility to advantage as he goes in and blasts a goal. So it'll be interesting to see this matchup. Stein's now starting to get hit outs. And Martin's got to use his mobility more. Back in the middle. Steins wins, but only to Larkin. 
North charging into this game. Nine changes of the lead we've had. Bryce lost it. Roberts kicks mothered by Yates. A minute left to half time. Yates back after it. Kicked pretty wide. Tinge missed it. Scholl. German. Don't think he kept it in. No, it's out of bounds for a throw in. Well, Peter German. Well, I suppose when you're that size, you're supposed to uh, get plenty of the ball. He's had 22 possessions, but I don't know about Steins. If you're six foot six, I don't know whether you're supposed to get 17 possessions in a half a game of football. And when you consider that he started playing uh, the Gaelic game with a round ball where marking really wasn't a feature, and he's just adapted to this game in the space of five or six years, Don. It's incredible. An outstanding athlete. He's still got a lot to learn as far as the actual ruck work goes. He gets caught behind a lot, especially in boundary throw-ins, but his mobility is certainly an asset and a lethal weapon. If there's any more in Ireland, every club would want to know about him. Steins palms this one down to Beveridge. His high ball to centre wing. Chance for North to get another one. McRae wanted to play on. The umpire paid the mark, but he was playing on and was caught. And that is half-time at the MCG. Well, a lot different to their last two contests. Melbourne won this season by 70. North Melbourne won last year by 100. But in this game, it's a four-point game, and there have been nine changes in the lead, North by four points. You got the feeling halfway through that term, I mentioned Melbourne were having their best period of the match. They may have got a little complacent because they let North Melbourne back in, and North really started to run the ball through midfield. Melbourne sorely missing Todd Viney off the ground with what appeared to be a knee injury. He had five possessions till the time he came off. We saw him at quarter time. He looked very disconsolate, so there could be some bad news there as far as the Demons are concerned. Half time, North Melbourne 8 4, Melbourne 6 12. So it's Michael Martin in ruck. Five goals kicked on him at fullback, and now he's up against Jim Steins best player this season so he's a tough day Martin anyway, North Melbourne came out but Stevens couldn't get it get the kick clear Clark for Melbourne only back towards the center circle Chandler had it lost it umpire paid the mark Melbourne Brett, fans didn't like that Brett Lovett on the halfback flank for Melbourne Earl Spalding's gone up forward Chandler's kick just inside the 50 and there he is Jim Steins again to take his ninth mark and as we saw Gary Lyon right beside Jim Stein so Lyon obviously playing on the back line now Kick by Steins back towards the centre. Climbed by Bennett. And Bennett uh, seems to have sacrificed his own game to come well up the ground and leave the forward line open. This kick dropping short of Jakovic. Brayshaw missed it. He taps back. Still a chance for Melbourne. Phoebe overruns it with Staritsky. Well played by Staritsky. On all fours. Gets it away to Rock. Rock's hand pass to uh, a running McRae. McRae towards half forward. Eichold had it then lost it. Dives on top of it, played by Schwass, and the umpire goes across to ball it up. Little Hardy had it head between the legs of Schwass, really couldn't move it on then. Simon Eichold did pretty well, Eichold out number two to one. There's the bounce, Steins off his fingertips, it comes to Rock inside the centre square, pulls it back across his body, Romero running into space inside the 50. Does most of his work forward of centre, Jose Romero. Early in the season, it was Rocky who seemed to be playing that forward, permanent forward pocket. Ramiro doing the work up the ground. Now it's changed around. Rock has been in really good form. A little flat since the state game. Roberts' lead ignored. Ramiro kicks from 48 metres. Has it got the carry? They can test right on the line, and Bryce knocks it against the post. North Melbourne. Increase their lead. 8-5, 6-12. Alan Jakovic has all the goals for the Demons. Quite unique. Paul Bryce, not too sure. Playing for Melbourne against his old team. Kicks at 60 metres. Comes to Arshold in front of the pack. He's holding it, says Alpha. Oh, Alpha really? didn't believe Arshold's attempts to hand pass away. Back to Rock. Clark comes in to uh, spoil. Martin goes to ground. Eichold's back there, keen to make amends. His hand pass is knocked out of play. In Dennis Cometti's bunker, and we'll have a throw in. Sandwich would be a good choice. Boundary umpire goes to his bag. 
Martin and Steins. Martin in front, wrestling match. It falls to Stevens. Hurried kick down towards full forward. Longmire was held. Rowan Sawyer's right on the spot on that occasion, but then again, they're both guilty. Longmire and Bryce of holding one another. They've been at it all day. And one has held the other as much as the other has held the other. You can make sense of that. I understand completely. So here's Longmire. That worries me. Longmire from 20 metres out. It's a goal. Four to John Longmire. And North Melbourne have been terrific today and they stretch their lead. Yes, well, he's starting to get in on course now with his kicking Longmire. 3-3 three, three last week. He holds the ball or gets near the ball quite a lot. Just can't capitalise. But he's kicked four straight today. Seventy-four for the season for John Longmire. With four rounds to go and possibly finals. Will he get the hundred that he missed out on last year? Here go North out of the middle. Staritsky. Good kick across the ground. Schwoss. Gee, should have grabbed that. Taken by Tinge. Bouncing ball to Clark. Mistake by North could cost them a goal. Clark short pass. Eichold marks about 60 metres from goal. Pumps it long and high. Steins is there. Oh, Bennett. It's Steins. Steins. Comes from behind and takes the mark. Actually, that's a good play by Steins. That really does put the pressure on the opposition ruckman. But Martin was equal. He was down there with Steins, following it everywhere. But he was just too big on that occasion. He had the bigger leap. And he came from behind. Well, this is going to spoil Jakovic's day. Kicked all six for Melbourne up until this. Surely Steins will break that run from right in front. Well, that's great because you often see a ruckman drifting across in defence as a spare man and doing his business across the half-back line. But to get up forward and be taking marks and kicking goals as well as uh, the possessions he's had everywhere, fantastic. Well, it is terrific. And I've still got a case for the big man resting because in the forward pocket, because you can see the advantage of a big man on that occasion. Djakovic just not quite big enough. You can rest your ruckman down there. I think they're still at an advantage. Five points the margin then. Martin wins it. Knocked on by Romero. Taken by Dyson, though, for the Demons. So Melbourne go forward. Storming up the ground was Gray Shaw. Oh, but a don't. clever mark was taken in front by Bennett. Who wanted to play on? He was dragged down by Fairley. Now it's with Jakovic. Jakovic from 20 metres out kicks a goal. His seventh. Two quick goals to Melbourne, and they're in front. Well, he's a real opportunist, isn't he, Jakovic? Why did Bennett play on? Can't understand it. Obviously, he thought he was in the clear. And that's a good mark by Bennett. There, now he wants to play on. Fairley had him by the jumper, brought him down. Well done, Spaulding. Jakovic's seventh goal. Steins has won in the middle for Melbourne. They've kicked the last couple of the Demons and lead by a point. We've had ten lead, lead changes. Love it. No great distance with that kick. Chandler couldn't take the mark. Eichold for Melbourne, number 25. Dyson off the ground. Staritsky over the ball. Obst. Dyson again. Obst. Socket forward and out of bounds in the forward pocket. 60 plays 59 and all of a sudden a rush by the Demons has them in front again. Real crunch game for both these teams this afternoon. North can't afford to drop it inside the six. Their record 11 and 6. But Melbourne, Collingwood and the Adelaide Crows queuing up just outside the six. Eichel got it from Bennett and kicks a goal. Three quick goals to the Demons. And they've skipped away suddenly and lead by seven points. Well, let's hope that gives Simon Eichold a little confidence. He has been down, consequently his form's been struggling. Bennett, he used his body well then. He's got a good football brain, Darren, Darren Bennett. Not trying to use his body at boundary throw-ins. Will work in front. That was a good step by Simon Eichold. 66 to 59. Steins, clean possession. Another three-vote game for Jim Steins. That's unless Jakovic kicks 18 or something. 
across the half back line that kick by Crocker doesn't find touch Eichold pumps it back Clark is there Jakovic waits and the ball out of play about 30 metres around from the behind post for a throw in Alan Jakovic has kicked 7-3 well, both these teams have gone in spurts today. Melbourne midway through the second term, then North Melbourne came back at them. To start this term, it was North, and now Melbourne getting a run on. Fairly, down to Romero, out of defence towards midfield. Mark is missed by Stevens. He keeps it in front. Obst arriving, though, for Melbourne. Now Martin gave it away, straight to Stretch, who goes against the flow. 55 metres out, the kick was half smothered. Comes to Bennett, to Spalding, 20 metres out, and he's kicked another one. A real power surge by Melbourne now, and they lead by 13 points, 10-12 to 9-5. They could be in the process of breaking this game open. It was like a training routine, wasn't it? Here's Stretch getting it. He goes for the long one, but it's smothered. And then Bennett gets onto it. There's a training activity, just a cross casual to Spalding, and he runs in, with no pressure. Free kick in the middle to North Melbourne, taken quickly by Martin. Roberts couldn't take the mark. It was reported earlier on, Mark Roberts. Little kick out on the full by Tingay. And a chance for North. Well, Gal North kicked the first goal of this quarter, but Melbourne have kicked four in four minutes. Gallagher coming on, Martin off for North. Well, you've got to put somebody on stars. You've got to do something to stop his uh, dominance. Mark dropped by Shaw, but paid by the umpire. 13 points the difference, Melbourne in front. Longmire, good mark. It's given too much latitude by Paul Bryce. Bryce started five metres behind on that occasion and just could not make up the distance. You cannot afford to give a fellow that much room. Look, there's the distance. He's kicked four, going for number five, John Longmire. Good effort. got two pretty good full forwards on the ground. Djakovic at one end, Longmire at the other. And when you've got forwards like this, it really does reward the, reward the work of the fellows further down the field. They have their work capitalised upon. And that's a good kick by Longmire. He's been very, very accurate. Hasn't kicked a point today. Five goals straight. Ten five to ten twelve, just over seventeen minutes remaining in this third term. Gallagher and Steins, it falls at their feet. Romero goes in. There's a whistle. Melbourne getting a free kick. It'll be taken by Beveridge, who wastes no time. He kicks it down towards Steins, who did well to turn round and find that one. It was an excellent effort, wasn't it? Terrific. Because his man was still in the centre of the ground. Twenty-one possessions to Steins, who kicks from just outside the fifty. Probing kick they can test right on the goal line off hands in front down goes Clark Romero was in his back not according to the umpire German gets it out of bounds It will be thrown in Peter German a little quieter so far in this term certainly by the pace he was setting in the first half He's had 22 possessions. I, he had 22 to half time. He hasn't touched it yet this quarter in 11 minutes I tried to keep it in front Romero claimed by beverage and the North Melbourne runner has made a beeline for Gallagher, Michael Gallagher, and I bet the message is stay with Steins. Good luck, that's yeah. all I can say. Tough contract. So here's the bounce, about 25 metres out from the Demons' attacking goal. Bennett got a fist on it. Storitsky controlled it pretty well, dragged off it by Eichel. Down goes German. And he's getting a free kick. Not much in that, but Peter German's got the free. dominant in the first half with three marks and 22 possessions Peter German straight up the ground for Gallagher here comes Steins punches from behind but only to Larkin Larkin's hand pass wide to Stevens Stevens left foot at a half forward Carey making a return done all right too here he goes getting away from Gary Lyon a centering kick great stuff to Roberts that's a free kick I think it is he going to pay the advantage no he's not he's taking that back I wonder why pushing the back as he was kicking but it's really a tough one on North well, Melbourne they'd play the advantage Dennis the ball yeah. obviously left carry and I think 
Well, they had two chances of being Roberts, either advantage or a relay. I think he beat him with a whistle was all. The ball probably just left the boot when he blew the whistle. Now, Kerry's stats don't look all that good, but he's uh, cut a path for uh, teammates, and he's found Longmire a couple of times. From the boundary line, 45 metres out. The margin is seven points. This to bring it back to one point. Offline. One straight kick in it. Oh, and listen to the North Melbourne fans. They reckon it should have been a goal to Roberts. Wayne Schimmelbush. Another pensive. Road kicks in. Virtually straight down the middle. He's looking for Steins and why not? Gallagher up in front though. Did well. This is Chandler. Tenge. And hasn't had a very good day. Standing in the path of Chandler. Eventually they work it forward from Dyson. But the mark is held by McRae. Forward of the centre circle. Dean McRae. Interesting. Oh, oh what courage. That is courage. Wow. Romero. Whoa. Woof. That was a superb effort by Jose Romero. Oh. You won't see any more courage than that. Oh. You get this on replay. Watch this. Look at the eyes only for the ball. Oof. Good effort. Good effort from the little fella. And he's up and he's all right. Great to see. Well, it warrants a goal, that effort. No which would level the scores. Jose Romero, something heroic. Just under 14 minutes remaining in this term. Obviously a bit shaken. This could test him. Into the man on the mark. Off in the case. Clark goes off the ground and gets it out of bounds. Well, bad luck for Jose, but I don't think he's quite with us just yet. Also a good effort by Clark on the mark. Here it is. It's, actually, this is a good passage of play, isn't it? Firstly, the courage of Romero, and then the good effort by Clark on the mark to smother that kick. Boundary throw in. Right half forward for North. Gallagher's in front. Got it down decisively to Scholl. Robbed of it by Obst, though. Floats a kick towards centre wing. Crocker goes back with courage. Couldn't mark it. Spalding emerges with the ball. Long kick down towards Jakovic. Oh, well played by Brayshaw. Brayshaw on the burst. In short to Stevens. Confronted by Lovett. A runner outside. He's told to play on. Kicks down towards half forward. Carey and Lyon. Lyon. Superbly done. A forward in the first half. A defender now. To Lovett. Just forward of centre wing. So uh, Melbourne's miracle charge of four goals in four minutes has been halted. But this is a good mark by Dyson. Too far out to score. Jakovic led and then goes back to the goal square. Dyson goes as hard as he can. Bennett in good position now. Offhand, Jakovic! Oh, oh sensational! Well, you couldn't describe that goal. You'd have to see a picture of it. That would have to nearly go down as one of the goals of the year. Now, I can say that Dennis Stewart kicked the goal oh. like that in a League Cup for Manchester City. Now watch this, Djakovic. Oh, 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 excuse me, please. Oh. Well, what a remarkable goal. Here's Clark, out of the middle. Melbourne go forward again. Jakovic will lead back in the race. Open goal is beckoning. He goes off the ground and he's missed this time. I think well, that should take him off, Dennis. He got the scissor kick. He missed the penalty. 11-13 yeah. to 10-6. Remarkable stuff. Eight goals, four. Alan Jakovic. The buzz goes around this ground. Chandler. Melbourne 11-13, North 10-6. Rock sold into trouble. Dyson soccer's away. Beveridge has got it. Back towards Jakovic once more. Knocked away. Well done by Crocker. With some time. As the sun breaks through, he kicks towards midfield. Obst knocked it away from Larkin. This is Steele through the centre. Goes looking for Roberts. Wide of the mark. It falls behind a long mile. Strong tackle by Yates. Holding the ball. Yates has tackled superbly this afternoon been awarded on nearly every occasion a vice like grip that time stretch 79 to 66 Melbourne by 13 points 50 meters no says umpire Cameron 
two of the league's most experienced umpires, Cameron and Saws in charge. Mark to Spalding. A beauty. Good mark. Bill trying to get away but being held there by Crocker. Gee, that forward line has been kept open for Jakovic. Surely. He's yet to kick 10, Jakovic. I'd like to be on him today. Here he comes. But Storitsky got back there to help Brayshaw and took a good defensive mark. 11-13 to 10 goals, 6. Melbourne in front. Ten and a half minutes to three-quarter time. Like a final now. Stretches up. And he's paid the mark. I'm not sure it was. Stephen Stretch down towards left half forward. Best and fairest in 87 for the Demons. Came across from West Torrens. He goes looking for the key forward again, Jakovic. It's fisted away, though. In trouble, German. High shot, oh, a clever handball. handball. Beveridge, 20 metres out, and he's missed. Yeah, that was an excellent handball by Eichel. To squeeze it through to Beveridge. Beveridge should have done better. Lets himself down on occasions. The hard work had been done. A breather for Brayshaw. Well, Michael Martin's about to come back. Will he be full back, Ruckman, or where? And making changes. Frank Gumbledon's going down to the forward line. That's the North Melbourne runner. That's going to say. That's a big move. There's Steele. Still deep in his own defensive area. So Roberts, Mike, Mark Roberts, looks as if he's going to the back line, so they're going to pull a few moves here, North Melbourne. Steele to the outer side wing. Dyson leads back in the race. Well played. This is Lovett. The centering kick. Spalding's got it. Surrounded by teammates. Can play on. Jakovic on the burst. He's in front. He's marked. Stretch runs onto the square. I don't think he'll be getting it. Jakovic hits the deck. Nothing to that. In front of Brayshaw. Michael Martin on for North Melbourne. So Jakovic has got eight. And it could have been about 12. Yes. Easily. And his eighth was the most spectacular, I'd suggest, of the season. Now kicking at number nine. I have missed. It's close. Now it's home. Nine goals to Alan Jakovic. Nine of 12. A Melbourne lead by 20 points. It's an excellent effort. It's his best effort by far this year, Alan Jakovic. Getting away from Brayshaw. Just wonder who they can put back there. Maybe Crocker can go back in for a spell and see what he could do. Nine goals to Jakovic, 48 for the season. Roberts gets the hand pass out. He's now up on the ball to Stevens. To Longmire at full forward, but Price, an ex North Melbourne player, out marks it. Away to Yates. Left footer, short of centre wing. Phoebe, a good tackle. Up by a ball is up. He really does lay a heavy tackle, Andrew Opst. You see him there getting up. Very good player. 86 to 66. Melbourne leading. Been an outstanding third quarter. After North kicked the first goal of the term. Nothing doing out of this. Oh. Another, another baller. Shoal and Grinter at it. Geez, a lot of players around this. Might have to be a free kick soon to clear the area. Your go, Dennis. Sure, we can do. It's been a terrific term, this one. 7.25 remaining till three quarter time. Melbourne by 20 points. North needing the next goal. Spalding shielding the ball. Made a path for Tingay. He goes down towards half forward and Clark. Left the ball behind. McRae going nowhere. Confronted by Tingay. And the ball goes across the boundary line from the hands of Chandler. Tempo has really picked up. They're playing for keeps now. The stakes are high. And as you'd expect, these two sides rising to the occasion. Boundary throw in. Robertson Stein, shoulder to shoulder. Stein's got it down to Beveridge. Claimed by Scholl. Down he went. Stein's picks it up like a rover. He's claimed. And another bounce. 
Melbourne led by three points at quarter time. The Kangaroos led by four points at half time. Not a good bounce. It favours Clark. Knocked on by Spalding. Intelligently. Stretch has got it now. He breaks towards centre half forward. Gives it to Grinter. Grinter from 60 metres out. Jakovic is running back. How will it bounce? Back over his head. Knocked through by Brayshaw. Well, Jakovic was trying again to kick it out of midair over his head. Going to be hard to practice at training. Well, that last volley shot, I'm sure he dragged it from behind him. Somehow he hooked it around. Unbelievable. We'll see plenty more of that for the remainder of the season. Brayshaw straight up the ground. Roberts tried to hook it on for North. Yeah, no, I think he was taken without it. Steins is injured too. Steins is injured on the edge of the square. Collided with Spalding. Gee, that'd be bad news for Melbourne. If he hasn't got the votes in the brown low already, it'd be bad news for himself. He might have won it already. Schwoss tries to see it to the line. He waited and waited for it to go out. Jimmy Stein's back on his feet. Good news. What a game. 11 marks, 17 kicks, four hand passes, Jim Stein's. And we've got five and a half minutes and then another half an hour. Boundary throw in. Spalding hooks it down to Obst. Clever. Gets it to stretch. Floats one inside the 50. Eye shoulders going back and that's a very good mark. And you just get the feeling now that the resistance is starting to crumble from north. Melbourne. Winning the tight situations. It's a good mark by Simon Eichel, but I wouldn't bank him as far as a kick, but the short one's on if he goes quickly to Phoebe. Oh, he could have just popped it over because Phoebe was by himself in the hole. Eichel has been busy since coming on the ground. And the kick just in short. This is Fairley. He'll bring it away. Not a good kick from Eichel. Clark. Good mark. No, well played. Knocked on by McRae. Martin had it slapped away by Spalding. Picked up by Stretch. Grinter. That was a good kick by Stretch because he spotted Grinter by himself and got the ball there. It was an excellent pass. Good move by Northey. Spalding's been most influential on the forward line in this term. He's had a very good quarter. Grinter. Seems the more full forwards whistle for the ball quickly, the slower the deliverer is. All part of a tactic. Here's Dyson from the short pass. He's directly in front, but a long way from goal. Gives it a ride on the breeze. Bennett flies from behind. Well, the value of a big fellow in the forward pocket. Bennett, the big fellow in question. A big mark. Yet to kick a goal this afternoon. Completely overshadowed by Jankovic's performance. But this will be an important one for Melbourne. It's a goal. Nonetheless, he's done particularly well at Bennett. Working hard at centre-half forward. He's done it, used his body well at ruck throw-ins. Created plenty of opportunities. It's a difficult position to play centre-half forward. But that was a magnificent kick from Dyson. And a big mark by Bennett. Had to drop from behind. In this quarter, Melbourne, seven goals, three to two, two. Here they come again, Steins. Round the corner he goes with the kick. McRae in front. Spill a mark that he should have taken. Grabbed by Dyson. Open goal. Wasn't but he a, hooked it. Wasn't a good kick off the boot, that one. You see the ball didn't spin in the way it should have. It meant to be a drop punt. Sort of going end over end, it went side over side. Brayshaw short passes to Martin. What a day he's had. Five goals on him by Jakovic when he was at fullback. Then moved into the ruck. And Steins continued his dominance. Steins here again. Bennett in front. Oh, beautiful play. On his own. Well, the last one was a practice. This time, Kevin Dyson from 45 metres. Seven-point play. He really did make sure of that, didn't he? It was an excellent mark by Bennett. Melbourne just too tall now, taking a lot of good high marks. And it was Bennett who spotted Dyson by himself. Quickly, well done, Bennett. As I mentioned earlier, he got a good football brain. Dyson casually, he really does make sure of it. Let's it go from 45 metres out, a magnificent kick.
Well, it's been a marvelous half hour by the Demons. 30 minutes that could put them in the season's finals as they've gone right over the top of North Melbourne. And they've kicked away now to lead by 33 points. Larkin, who's been so well held by Ovs, trying to go through the centre. McGrath's in there too. Eventually it comes to Roberts. Can they muster a late goal? Yates is in front of Romero. Trying to go off the ground north. Nothing doing. Yates still in there. Eventually it comes back to Steele. Shrugs a tackle. Pulls it across his body. Good effort. Goal. It's some good work being done there by Graham Yates. He just couldn't trap the ball, but he struggled pretty hard. The ball spilled out to Steele. And Steele coming straight off the ground. That's an interesting one, isn't it? You kick a goal, you come straight off being replaced by Schwash. There, Yates battling particularly hard. The ball spills out. Steele breaks the tackle of Yates. And quickly gets his kick. Just needed to get the arm there, didn't he? Well, North have kicked three goals in this quarter. Melbourne have kicked eight. McRae. Knocked back by Obst. Mark loses it, regains it. Well done. Roberts, a mighty kick. Two on two. Carey can't take the mark. Crocker! And it's run through by Rhodes for a rush behind. Wayne Schimmelbush, second season as coach. So far, 123, lost 16. Road towards the outer side wing. Roberts knocks it forward. Beveridge is right half back. In bright sunshine now, he kicks through centre towards half forward. Oh, good mark. Bennett, quick hands. Got it away to Dyson. Dyson looking for Jakovic, and Jakovic is looking for number 10, and he's taken the mark. Plays on. Love it. Well, fine team football by Jakovic. The ball just got the Brett Lovett before Bra could get there. Very strong mark by Jakovic in the pack. Here it is, confident pass, and just gets there. Unselfish play. Love it. Directly in front. The goal on fire travels a bit of distance, but it's a goal. And the margin is 32 points. Well, Britt Lovett's first goal started at a half forward. Playing as a half back now, and it's good to see half backs running down the ground. But also, the other thing with Jakovic is the fact that he's a two-sided player. It's a good kick here by Dyson. Also, good play earlier by Bennett to get it quickly across. But here's a two-sided Jakovic. See, quickly onto the left foot. Not a problem. Normally a right foot kick. Well, the halftime, Jakovic had kicked all of Melbourne's six goals. In this quarter, he's added three. And there have been six other goal scorers. Spalding takes the mark at centre-half forward. And he has a chance to kick his second Earl Spalding. I wouldn't like to back Earl Spalding in. He's not the most reliable kick for goal. If he kicks it, it'll be a 10-goal quarter for Melbourne. And that'll probably be their best stretch of football for the season. At one stage, they lost five games in a row and were threatened with missing out on the finals. They're outside the six at the moment. Kicked by Spalding. Jakovic, he marked it inside the field of play. Right on the siren. So this is for his 10th. It's for Melbourne's 10th for the quarter. And the way he's been kicking goals, I'm on him. He can't run around, though, Drew. If he runs around, he'll be called play on, and the quarter will end. Well, he should go back further, Dennis, and open up the space. Ticklish one for the umpire here. He's got to watch him closely. Kick by Jakovic after the siren. A banana. Oh, the arms have gone up. He's kicked it. by Cam. 111 plays 73, a 10 goal third term by the Demons. Has blasted this game asunder. One down by Steins who's been outstanding. Eichold knocks it on down towards half forward. Crocker knocks it wider, taken by Lovett though he pulls it back across his body. Jakovic again. The adrenaline would be pumping. This time he's penalised. And Brayshaw will get the free kick. It's a rather soft one. 
Well, the personal best this year is, what, 13 by Sumich against Footscray? We could see that beat. 12 by Lockett. 50 metres to Brayshaw. And Jakovic knows... Uh, he's got a wide vocabulary, I would say, to the umpire. And the uh, umpire Cameron under understood that perfectly and wasn't too impressed. He needs to be very careful, Jakovic. He's gone! Jakovic has given him one too many, and Cameron's reporting it. Peter Cameron making the point to the runner. He warned him before a couple of times, he said. I suppose that's got to be fair enough. Yeah. Well, that'll be a sensation if he goes on Monday night, hot on the heels of a 10 or more goal performance. It's all happened in the second half here at the Melbourne oh, Cricket Ground. Try strong mark. Great mark. So Jakovic has kicked Teddy's on report. Here's Bryce out of the back pocket. Towards centre wing. Spalding and Crocker. Almost to Spalding one-handed. Over the ball is German. Larkin. As always, Obst in close attendance. Roberts. Only as far as Phoebe. Gets it out to accommodate the run of Yates, who's been a fine defender. Yates, not a particularly good kick, though. Gained about 25 oh, metres. Beveridge. Oh, Beveridge. What a good mark. That wasn't a good kick from Yates. Found himself between a rock and a hard place and took a very good mark. Down towards half forward. Chandler got a hand to it. Grinter, quick hands. Lovett slips over. Eichold's got it. Oh, great tackle, Chandler. Bennett couldn't control it. Steele did well, going against the flow. Untidy handball, though. Martin in trouble. Martin and Steele battle away. Phoebe misses the mark. Dyson, and now Steins. With some space and time, pumps it back in once more. And the mark is held down there by Brayshaw. Back to McGrath. And he goes towards the outer side. Not the best option. That should have been a mark out there to stretch. Now Fire will ball it up. Peter German outnumbered. Well, umpire Cameron's had an interesting day. His ears were burning. I think he was reluctant to make that report, you know. Yeah, he did give him a lot of chances to say, uh, cool it. Here's Steele. Came into the side, uh, named as an emergency. Stevens back to Steele. That's gone, holding the ball. Had to be. That's where the whistle went. Comes Melbourne's way, though. Grinter can't take the mark. McGrath takes it away from him. Left-hand hand pass. Fell a bit short of Swass. But he got it all right. Longmire, a set shot. Good kick. Oh, great play. Longmire has kicked six. What an excellent hand pass from Wayne Swass. He makes it look so easy. He's got a lot of skill. He's been on and off the bench today. He has, has had a consistent year, Swash, but he's had a dirty day today. But that is a great handball. Look at the way he got it quickly across to Longmire. Longmire just a one step. And his sixth. Sixteen, fifteen, twelve, seven. Who knows? John Longmire could post ten goals by the end of the afternoon. Every time it goes down there, he's very dangerous. Phoebe out of the middle towards half forward. Bennett to Eichold. I think the ball was touched on route to Bennett. It's a stretch who's been lively. Concedes some meterage. Back to Phoebe. Very high kick. Jakovic in from the side. Steins. Fisted away. Brayshaw. Taken by Martin. North not done with yet. This is McRae defiantly out of defence. Towards half forward. Yates goes back. Was interfered with. And will get the free kick. A little soft that free. But nonetheless it was there. So Yates at right half back. For Tinge. Boots it down towards half forward. Bennett. Eichold waiting behind. Chandler could have been pushed in the back. Bennett's Holding hurt the himself. ball, says the umpire. Bennett's hurt himself too. And he's done a finger. Yeah, dislocated a finger perhaps. Trainer's there. Meantime, Grinter. Untidy looking kick. Jakovic over the top. Brayshaw leading back in the race. Clark, 35 metres from goal. It's a dribbler. Through for a minor score. Finger going back into place for Darren Bennett. A 
it's up. Pops back in. Ooh, horrible feeling. Stephen Tingay off. Jay Viney coming on for Melbourne. So you'd know all about it, Don. Your finger doesn't look too good from your basketball exploits. Well, short pass in, and Clark takes the mark. Well in the forward pocket, and well within kicking distance. 35 metres out. Well, they've short passed all day after behinds, haven't they? And you take a risk. 18 possessions for Clark, and looking for his first goal. And he's got it. Stephen Clark's first goal, and the Bennett has gone off the ground. He's going to get that finger fixed up. Eichel coming off, and he's going straight up the bound, straight up to the dressing room. Darren Bennett. And there he goes. Whoops. One hundred and eighteen to seventy-nine. Steins towards half forward. McGrath's in the road. Across the ground with a kick. Stevens going back. Yates met him solidly. Stevens had a free kick and or mark. Because Yates in the last couple of strides gave up on the ball. Watch this. So Stevens has it. Forward of the wing. Carey. Oh, spring heel jack. Right on the 50. No one in the goal square. He decides to go for it. Lyon going back. Fairly over the top. Knocks it away. Did that come off his boot? I no. I would, I would say, Dennis, that is the first time that Ian Fairley's been moved this year. He's on the forward line. He's played at centre half back and done particularly well this year. Crowd of 28,323 at the MCG for the match of the day. Stevens kicks back into the pack. Vivi a wide hand pass. German. Much quieter after half time. Kick too high for Steele. Taken by McGrath. 40 metres out. Couldn't drag it back far enough. And that is a behind. Only three possessions to German in the second half, Drew. And the incredible thing is here that nobody, only two players have kicked more than one goal in the game. Jakovic has kicked 10, Longmire 6. This is Lockett, or rather Lovett. Whoops. Lovett towards centre wing. Chandler's in front. Cleared him though. Jay Viney leads back in the race. Assisting is Grinter, not required. Jay Viney lobs it down towards Jakovic. What a day out. What a day he is having. He's got 10. He's on report. Look at this. Everything going right for it. He gets hands to ball. Second attempt. Controls it as he goes to ground. Marvellous leap supposed to get 17 kicks at full forward no. with 20 minutes to play or 11 goals for that matter doesn't happen too often oh, hasn't oh. got his 11th that's a shocker it's a bad miss isn't it out of bounds on the full in the left full forward pocket I would imagine that report is just playing on his mind a little bit Todd Viney off early in this game they could ill afford to go into their next fixture minus Viney and Jakovic also, there must be a doubt about Bennett. He's gone off too with that finger injury. But as long as they've got Steins, they've got a big show. This time he gives it away to German. German back to the centre of the ground. Tingay took the mark. Straight up to centre half forward. Spalding. Off hands to Grinter. Left footer. Won't score, but Jakovic is there. Brayshaw. Deliberate against Brayshaw. And See, done his ankle. He's done his ankle. Oh, oh no. what shocking bad luck. Is it his ankle or... Oh. Let's hope it's, he hasn't broken his leg. He's not holding the ankle. He's holding the calf here, and he's in a lot of pain. Well, if that's as bad as it looks, oh. you can't blame him for trying to find the boundary line. He's been pinged as well. Well, it's a line ball whether he is, in fact, trying to force it behind, isn't it? Well, here he has a replay. Here they are. Both go at it. He comes to ground. He hurt himself when he actually landed. Oh, he's in a lot of pain, isn't he? Oh. They bring, the, they bring yes, I think they are bringing the stretcher. There's a stretcher. I would say, I hate to say it, but I think the leg may be broken. Let's hope it's not. 
Well, no, it can't be. He's getting up like that. It's a gutsy effort, isn't it? He comes from very good sporting stock, that young man. And uh, with the 44 on his back, his father famous for his 10 for 44. Well, that's good to see, isn't it? Now, Djakovic can run around here. And probably will. And does for number 11. What's happened? Missed it. So that's 10 goals, 5 and 1 out of bounds. Brayshaw is hopping off. Here it is, the replay. Up he goes, down he goes on that ankle. I don't know why he just didn't go straight over the boundary line because he's not going to take any further part, but they're bringing him through the interchange gate. Schwoss gets it to Crocker. Will Felden come forward? This is Rock who's gone out of the game like German. Intelligent kick intended for Longmire. Almost a strong mark over the top. It falls to Larkin. Larkin 30 metres out is missed. Well, if they're going to get back, they've got to kick those goals. Brayshaw sits down. 17-17, 12-9. It seems a forlorn hope now. A 10-goal third term by the Demons setting it up. This is Stretch. Melbourne now have got runners in just about all positions. Just one goal each in this last quarter. Race on here, but the ball wins. And we'll have a throw in. Michael Martin has gone back to fullback on Djakovic, replacing Mark Brayshaw. Brayshaw getting treatment on his ankle. Getting it gently strapped. Steins finds Obst. Eichel, his left footer, out in front of Djakovic. That was a good mark, wasn't it? Terrific. Oh, <laughs> it's full speed. That was a great mark. Martin had five kick on him at the start of the game and then was shifted. Will this be number six on Martin and number 11 for Djakovic? Well, he's hooked it. it. All coming undone since the report for Alan Djakovic. Well, that's his sixth behind. He's missed one. Ten goals, six. Still a good effort, isn't it? Good. Scholl to kick it in. Virtually straight down the middle. Spalding was up, couldn't hang on. Love it towards Spalding, who trapped it very well. Oh, brilliantly played to Eichold. Back it comes again. Djakovic in front, has it fisted away. Larkin across to Chandler, up from the back pocket. Boots it wide. Stretch leads back in the race. No one near him. He'll need to keep it in. He does. He can settle now. He slips. Still all the time in the world. Gets it to Obst, who's played a very good game, closing Larkin down. Scholl's now got the job on Djakovic. Not a bad move. He can move around, and height's not uh, the problem with Djakovic. Obst into the forward line. Back goes McRae to Scholl, who chips it out wide. Tenge got an unfavourable bounce. Dyson did well to soccer it away from Storetsky, and Schwoz knocks it across the boundary line. It will be thrown in. Bennett just coming through the gate back onto the ground for Melbourne. He's back on the arena. There he is. Away go Melbourne again. Jay Varney off the ground, out of the ground. And spent most of the day on the bench, Jay Varney, for those six possessions only. Members giving Darren Bennett a welcome back. Kicked by Crocker. Steins. How many marks? 12 is that? marks. 26 possessions now. Djakovic! A long way out. This will test him for distance. Be kicking from over 55 metres. Doubt that he can make this one. Gone for oh. the torpedo. It is a monster. Spalding is there. No mark. Rushed through by Chandler. Well, he's the sort of player who will keep the turnstiles clicking. That man, Alan Jakovic, has that mercurial trait about him. Now, Scholl to bring it in. Just under 14 minutes remaining. 
certainly a lackluster final term compared to what we saw the heroics in that third quarter by Melbourne this is Schwass breaks away North still trying hard the kick goes out wide coming up is Bryce oh collided oh, with fairly hurt. away comes Lyon kicks it to the other side oh great mark by Lovett who initially slipped fairly who collided with Bryce very slow to get up this is Clark meantime Kicks towards the pocket and Steins off hands. Stays in initially. It's still in. Martin got it to Roberts. Now Stevens clears the zone back towards midfield in front to Ritzky. He's just getting to his feet now, Ian Fairley. The doctor goes across. North Melbourne medical staff working overtime in this last quarter. Oh, good mark to Gary Lyon. That's Fairley's opponent such riches on the forward line uh, I suppose they can afford the luxury of Gary Lyon back at halfback love it up the ground to Beveridge Eichold and the hand pass just comes out from Scholl to McGrath oh. he heaves a hand pass straight to Beveridge Beveridge from 50 there's nobody there will this score Simon Eichold's injured too now Crocker keeps the ball in goes towards the outer side McRae takes the mark Bad football by Beveridge. Spalding gave a great lead. Sold a dummy to the man who went back to the square. Just needed the ball to be pulled back to the middle and Melbourne would have got another goal. There's Eichold. Meantime, on the outer side. Fairly pops it down towards the 50-metre line. Bryce held by the arm. Well, for so long in recent seasons, Melbourne have struggled to kick goals. They've got Owen to come back into this team. They could have a quite potent forward line in the run home and perhaps who knows in the finals and what I've seen in recent weeks they look likely to make it Here's Steins again bobbing up for yet another mark 13 27 possessions they continue to mount here's Spalding who's been very close to the match winner going onto the forward line in the second half he opened things up and from there on Djakovic has capitalized in fact of course he was very productive in the first half this is Schwass across half back out wide Storitsky will need to go here. Tingay did well. Down towards half forward. McGrath leads back in the race for North. Dyson corners him. The hand pass floats up to Stevens. Around the corner he goes. Yates marks. 11 and a quarter minutes to go. 40 points the difference. Melbourne in front. And at half time, the Kangaroos led by four points and kicked the first goal of the second half. Spalding again. He's done well. 13 possessions, six marks to Will Spalding. Clark on his own, 40 metres out from goal. Well, Stephen Clark has kicked one. And if he kicks his second here, he'll be the first Melbourne player to kick more than one, apart from Djakovic, who's kicked 10. 20 possessions to Stephen Clark, the ex-bomber. Kicking from just inside the 50. Good delivery. Oh, great result. Well, a great kick by the little fellow. This second. Two goals, two today, Stephen Clark. It's a pity he incurred that knee injury last year. He's had a wretched run with injuries throughout his career, even at Essendon. He copped a real heavy head high out of this and then that really did slow him down quite a lot early in his career the injury last year didn't help because he really has lost a bit of pace but he's slowly getting there just under ten and a half minutes remaining till full time all Melbourne now Roberts wins it down taken by German who played so well in the first half Longmire does nicely this is Stevens fairly from 40 meters back goes road though and away he comes running it out no pressure on member side with a kick Dyson can't get there it skids out of bounds just looking who North are missing well McCarthy is not in their team of course he would have been valuable perhaps even to throw back on Jakovic he is a flexible sort of player but North have got some work to do in the run home the pressure will be right on now their run home isn't all that easy. The ball out of bounds, left half forward for them. Mark Roberts off, Gallagher back on into the ruck. Jim Steins, perhaps another three votes this afternoon, who's to say? I don't think Jakovic can get the votes if the umpires 
have reported him. Hobbs gives it across to Beveridge. McGrath goes back with courage and must get a free kick. Oh, and he'll have a headache too. It would appear that no Ruckman can go the different distance with Steins because uh, St Kilda did the same with Harding. He spent half the game on the bench or off the ball and Steins flogged them. And he's done the same to North Melbourne with Gallagher having two or three spells on the bench. Stevens. Good oh, man, Graham front. Yates. Gee, he played a great game. It's hard to give votes to the back pocket when the full forward kicks 10 and the Ruckmans had something like 27 possessions. But Yates has played a great game. Road. Across the ground, stretch. Under nine minutes left. Kick by stretch. Bray at the back takes the mark. All the sting has gone out of North Melbourne. And some of it out of Melbourne as well because uh, they've added just two goals in this last quarter, both to Clark. Oh. Oh, Mark Carey. That's the ability that this man does possess. It's a pity he had that shoulder injury, kept him out so long. But, oh, that is great stuff. Seems to have done better than his stat show. Three marks, four possessions. Wayne Carey kicking from about 48 metres. No. One goal, two to Wayne Carey. Eight minutes remaining in the game. 18-19, players 12-10. Guess who? Steins over the top to Tingay. Up from half-back, Tingay. Kicks towards half-forward. Steele. Fisting away, but eyeshold has got it. Into the path of Spalding. Spalding down towards the pocket, goes with the left foot. He could have centred it. Face. Could have centred that because Rodney Grinder was by himself in the centre. He could have dragged it back on the left foot. Nobody around Grinder at all. All his work done in the second half, it was Spalding. Kick in from shoulder towards the outer side. Gallagher. Now it's with Ramiro to Rock on centre wing. Kicks towards half forward. Yates, the only man there. Mustn't have seen him. A way to love it. The kick up to the centre of the ground to Jay Viney. The crowd want more from Djakovic. Viney's kick in that direction. Bob's groving. Drag to the ground. Spalding using his hip to get through there. McGrath. Storitsky dives and marks at halfback. Under seven minutes to go. 128 plays 82. It's all over for North. Climb in the centre by stretch, but the mark taken by Steins. He gave the hand pass away. Larkin did well. Kick by Larkin. Stretch makes up for it here. Stretch back towards half forward. Eichold can run on. He can go Goldwood from 40 metres out. Eichold and bounces through for another one. Well, after the game promised so much, it's become a rout. Melbourne 1920 and North stopping to a work or walk rather a 12 10. Well, Eichel has done well since coming off the bench. Replacing the injured Todd Viney. Just gets there. That's his second goal. But Stretch had two options out there. He had Steins and Eichel. Melbourne are full of running. Well, what a sudden thud back to earth for North Melbourne. Coach Wayne Schimmelbush. They beat the league leaders last week and have been flogged in the second half by Melbourne today. Larkin's hand pass to McRae, a man under pressure. He's dumped. Dyson loses it. Rock outside of his foot to half forward. Carey. Cornered by Rowe. Oh, Smothered by Lovett. Lovett. Brilliant play by Lovett. Who ran fourth in last year's Brownlow. Up to Obst. Wide, good kick. Clark marks at centre wing. Wants to play on. Intent <laughs> on drawing a man. Now he does. Over the top to Grinter, who goes again to Eichold. Eichold inside the 50. Down towards Djakovic, who will mark on his chest. Shoal gave him three metres. Misread it completely in the air, Shoal. So Djakovic will kick at his 11th. He's had plenty of opportunities to post 11. 21 kicks. That's a great effort from the full forward. He's directly in front. 
Jakovic gets the goal. Twenty twenty to twelve ten. Just over five minutes remaining. Well, it's a toss-up, isn't it? Who's best on the ground, Steins or Jakovic? Eleven goals, twenty-one kicks. That's a fantastic effort from a full forward. Just right. going back to that point, though, John. I mean, you wouldn't expect Jakovic to pick up any Brownlow medal boats from the umpires if it's a best and fairest award, would you? Well, actually, the player can't get uh, votes when he's been reported on the day. And his report was for uh, language rather than any foul play. Foul language, Drew. We're only guessing it was foul language. Well, I suppose it must be. <laughs> <laughs> Gallagher out of the middle. Dyson. His hand pass is good to Lyon. Lyon up to centre half forward. Spalding props and cops, but he's beaten to it by Crocker. Under five minutes left. A big day for the Melbourne Football Club. The victory won't get them in the six but it should set them up for being there well, probably next week. Well, they could have a few problems next week because Bennett, whether he's all right, whether Djakovic can beat the charge. It's Collingwood next week, of course. An important game for both sides. There's another injury. North Melbourne don't need another one, but well, they've got another one with Jeff Chandler. Here's Chandler coming in. Eichel cops it, as does Chandler. So he'd have very sore ribs, Jeff Chandler. And Simon Eichel have a very sore shin. Eichel first to break away. But Chandler not looking too good. North would be lucky to finish with a team. Oh, Kerry's going to ball it up. Chandler hasn't gone off. Roberts is prepared to come on. He's not far from the interchange gate. Chandler nearly get a touch here. A throw in. A throw in and go right over his head. He's coming off. Roberts is getting ready to come on. 20-20 to 12-10. Well, a great second half by Melbourne. Most particularly, of course, that third quarter. Ten goals. Gallagher missed the ball. Martin's got it. Tough day for him. Pulls it back across his body. Yates flies from behind and gets it on the ground. Dyson, quietly affected. Lyons got it. Yates, hurried kick. Tingay coming back with the flight of the ball, but it bounces out of bounds. Just over three and a half minutes remaining. So the arch rivals will go at it next Saturday on this ground. Melbourne and Collingwood. Collingwood, of course, to play tonight against the Brisbane Bears. Tenge over the ball, slaps it out. Romero, forward of centre wing towards half forward. Yates from behind again. Disciplined fist. Tenge with courage. McRae, the tackling of Melbourne has been a feature. Lyon oh, charges at this one. Good underground kick. kick. Good kick considering the circumstances. He had nowhere to go. Look for the boundary line. Found it and will not be penalised. No, his action was intentional. 58 points the margin. Melbourne won earlier in the season by 70. Another couple of goals in the last three minutes, and I'll repeat that. McRae on the 50. Long kick, but nobody there for North. Bryce gets back. Good mark. Goes with the hand pass to Yates. Graham Yates has had 21 possessions. He's kicked wide. Jay Viney goes long just puts it out into space and says run onto that boys and he finds touch about 60 meters up the ground and the clock continues to run we're down to 235 now thrown on the other side Spalding and Crocker will do the rocking where's Steins he's had enough he's back across half back Larkin Got it to Steele, who was taken high, and he'll get the free kick. He's forward of right half back. North Melbourne have tried hard today. Oh, well done. Too many mistakes. Love it. Superbly done. And they've been outclassed in the second half. On the burst is Scholl from right half back towards centre wing. McRae. Centre of the ground. Two minutes remaining in the game. Bryce. 
Longmire tries to jump on him, gets rid of him, interferes illegally, free kick to Price. He's done pretty well back there, even though Longmire's kicked six. Brenta, good mark. And Price's second half has been really very good. Rodney Grinter from halfback. Up in the direction of Spaulding. Mark to Crocker. North have managed just a goal in this last quarter. And Melbourne have put on four more. Tapped down by Grinter to Road. Road's done a fine job on Carey. Crocker again at half forward. Half back for North. He plays on. McRae. Awkward one for Larkin, who slipped over. Stevens attacked the ball with desperation to Schwass. Martin in trouble. Love it, got him. Ball jarred loose. Larkin comes back into it for North. Good hand pass. Gallagher. Storitsky. Inside to Stevens. This is Carey. Inside the 50. Goes by Yates. Little short pass intended for Longmire, and he picked it up. Not easy to mark them down there, so John Longmire did well. Good skills here, Sean. By the forward pocket, Carey. Longmire, nearly a half volley, but just kept it off the ground. Kicking at number seven, and he's got it. Good effort in a losing team, John Longmire. It's been a very interesting duel in a high-scoring game. He and Bryce, Bryce certainly has done some very good work in defence for Melbourne. Watch this pass, hard to defence, this sort of thing. 77 goals to John Longmire, 70 coming into the game, 7 today. Djokovic has 11, so he's gone to 50. He kicked his 50th with the last kick. And Longmire, just 8 kicks for 7 goals. Great result. Stein's out of the middle. His kick up towards half forward. Djokovic playing up the ground, but spalling at full forward now. That ball hasn't quite gone out. McGrath, his left footer, up to centre wing. A bit of jostling going on there. No whistle. There's the siren. The Demons stay in touch with a big victory, highlighted by a 10 goal third quarter and an 11 goal individual performance by Alan Djakovic. The Demons, 2021 20, 40. That's perfect vision. 13 10 88.